Knutes, welcome to Grant Community High School. My name is Kyle Knutson. And I'm Mae Matoka. And we know for you new students that this building can seem pretty big and kind of intimidating, but it's really not. So yeah, we're going to take you on a tour so you can see. So come on inside. The bell just rang. I hear it. Go. Welcome, everyone. I'm Mr. Jeremy Schmidt, principal of Grant Community High School. And I want to be the first to welcome you to the Bulldog family. Grant is an amazing place, and I cannot wait to see all the amazing things that all of you will do. Every day I'm truly impressed by the things that I see kids doing academically, in activities, and through athletics. The opportunities that we have here are endless, and it's all about taking advantage of those opportunities. So I can't wait to see what you will do with all those opportunities while you're here. But don't take it from me. Listen to Bay and Kyle as they walk you through a school day here at Grant. Welcome, it's great to be home by you. Welcome to choir. Uh, we have a lot of different performing options here in the school. We have choir, obviously, band, and our theater department. Now, since I obviously can't sing and talk at the same time, we're going to head over to Miss Skuller, who's going to tell you more about it. Here at Grant, we have a performing arts society, which entails all of the performing arts, as opposed to just band or just theater. We have um, several band, choir, and theater classes that only meet during the school day, and that's symphonic band, men's choir, treble choir, acting, and theater arts, while pep band, jazz band, pit orchestra, chamber singers, anthem singers, student quartets, fall play, spring musical, and winter guard are purely extracurricular and only meet outside of the school day. Marching band and fall flags are the only two classes in the Performing Arts Society that meet during the school day as well as outside of the school day. But students get to choose how much they participate in marching band. Each year we present a fall play and a spring musical and students can perform or become involved in any technical theatrical components such as set, lights, sound, stage manager, realming, props, or costumes. Students with no experience can join. All they need to do is go see one of the directors or shoot them an email. In addition to the Performing Arts Society, uh, all of us teach and instill leadership qualities to all of the students so that they can be successful in all areas of their lives once they leave Grant High School. Hey guys, it's May. So right now I'm going to my third period, which is reserved for team, which is the perfect time for students to uh, get help if they need it in some of their classes. I am a big dog and so is Kyle, which means we are both in charge of freshman classrooms and we don't want to be late. So I'm going to send you guys off to Miss Let's Rock so she can tell you more about me. TEAM is a 25 minute academic resource period for all grant students. Um, we meet third hour every day. And during that time, your team teacher coaches you through your academic roadmap. And so they'll check your grades, conference with you about goals, um, make sure that you're on pace. And then also during that time, if you need any academic support, all of our subjects have an academic lab during that time. So you can ask your teacher for that class and then go to the academic lab and get some one-on-one -on -one tutoring. In team, you'll be conferencing with your team teacher a few times a semester. And so your team teacher in the beginning of the year will talk about your short-term and long-term goals um, that you've set for the year. They'll also be checking on your grades and your missing assignments, um, helping you come up with strategies to communicate with teachers, help you focus on what you need to study, um, and to coach you through um, being successful your freshman year here at Graham. Sometimes at Grant during team, we use that 25 minutes to do school-wide activities. So we will um, have a guest speaker or a special lesson your team teacher will teach you. Um, sometimes in the spring, we do a rock, paper, scissors tournament between all team rooms, which is really fun. In your freshman team room, you will have three big dog mentors. These big dog mentors have applied to be big dog mentors and they've been specially chosen um, to help you throughout your freshman year. So you can ask your big dog mentor for help in a specific subject. If you're struggling, you can ask them advice about things that you're experiencing. They're really just there to help you um, figure out your freshman year and make it easier. Hey guys, I'm with some of my team kids right now and they are doing awesome work. So we have these things called Bulldog Bucks which teachers can give out to students for doing work or being helpful, mostly just for keeping it red, okay? I don't have a whole lot of time because we have to get some work done, so I'm gonna send you over to Miss Forbes who is on our PBIS team. PBIS stands for Positive Behavioral Interventions and Supports, which is an acronym, but not very important for most of our incoming freshmen. 
They can remember it by a simple three letter word, red, or keeping it red. Which stands for respect, engaged, and dependable behavior. I'm very pleased with PBIS, as well as many parents, students, families, and staff as well, because we feel it's an excellent way to tell everyone the expected behaviors that all staff can expect of their students. And it also gives students a very clear outline of how they should be behaving while here in GCHS. They can receive what's called Bulldog Bucks, which are a visual way of celebrating student success. They're a form of currency here at Grant, and they can put them into a box that's located in the cafeteria, grade level specific, and they can win a variety of prizes. Everything from pizza parties, to dance tickets, to individual treats that they can choose. So it's a variety of options that are drawn weekly and then quarterly as well. One way that we celebrate student success and returning back to Grant twice a year is by rolling out the red carpet. We're so excited to have students back in our building and we want to show them and also thank them for coming and making it a great place to be. I just finished lunch and I have some extra time on my hands, so I'm going to go down and talk to my counselor about some of the college scholarships. Now while I'm in my meeting, you guys are going to talk to Mr. Avalon. We focus on three main areas of um, student um, service, is to focus on their um, academic needs, we focus on their social emotional needs, and we focus on their post high school planning. There's six of us, we go by alphabet. I, I happen to work with students with the last names S, L through Z, so they're all broken down so that we're all trying to equally balance our uh, workloads with them and being able to provide them the best resources we can. Students definitely can come down to set up appointments, we'll also make availabilities if we're not busy, they can definitely walk in. I also encourage, and I know we all do, students to email us questions and things like that if they can't come down right away. So freshmen, it, it's, it's kind of a tricky thing. They're, they're starting in a new building, they're trying to make new friends. So as we work with freshmen, we ask them, you know, what are some of the struggles that they've had? Um, as they get older, we go back and ask them. And so sometimes they'll say the building itself, uh, trying to get involved in clubs and activities and how to do that, who do we ask? Uh, so we try to put them in place with some of uh, those staff members. One of the big things that we try to talk them into doing and, and, and providing resource to is getting involved in something here. Finding a place, uh, having an identity, um, whether it's a club or an activity, a sport, anything that they feel that they have interest in, uh, the sooner they can get involved with that, not just meeting a new staff member, but also meeting new students and kind of getting involved is, is going to be huge. We try to make sure all the students feel welcome and are safe in our schools. I, I take great pride in that and trying to make sure that not just the students feel that way, but the parents knowing that their kids are coming here every day also feel that way. So that's important to us as a, as a school. This is my friend Ryan Topper and he does wrestling here at Grant Community High School. Now we have a lot of different athletic options here, but no one knows better about them than our athletic director, Tom Ross. So let's head over there and he'll tell you more about it. We offer over 20 sports here at Grant Community High School from football, baseball, bowling, uh, competitive cheerleading, competitive dance, wrestling, boys and girls soccer, boys and girls basketball. So there's something for everyone. If we don't have a sport, uh, individuals can participate. The two main sports that they would participate in are boys and girls gymnastics and boys and girls swimming. We have outstanding coaches here. A lot of them were former high school or college athletes, but the best part of it, about it is they're all great teachers. You know, I think that's the most important trait for a coach to be able to break down that skill or that move to something a 14, 15, or 16 year old can understand. So we have great facilities from the beautiful Benedetti Center Field House to our softball and baseball fields to our stadium track, turf field, and then we also have off-site complexes at the Bulldog Athletic Complex. So I think our facilities really outshine other schools in the area. The, the main thing is just to get involved. To be successful in high school research shows you need to get involved. You learn life skills that you'll carry with you throughout your life. You'll learn about adversity. You'll learn about working as a team. And these are things that you'll carry with you throughout your whole life. Hey guys, it's finally the end of the day. We're both on the speech team, so we're about to head off to practice. Well, we can't take you to practice, um, so we're going to send you to Mr. Duval, who's going to talk about all the clubs we have here at Grant. We have a wide variety of activities and clubs here at Grant Community High School, varying from academic to social 
to competitive and somewhat service clubs. Some of our academic clubs vary from uh, band and choir. We also have a science club, a work, woodworking club, and the FCCLA, which is uh, the consumer sciences. Some of our more of our social clubs would be our Black Student Union, table tennis, uh, the GSA club. We have a gamers club that uh, splits some time between various video activities, and we also have a guitar club that meets a couple times a week. Uh, more of our competitive clubs and activities would be like our academic team, um, our bass fishing team that competes in the springtime. We have a chess team, a uh, speech team, and a debate team as well. There's something for everybody. Um, and we encourage our students to try as many clubs and activities that they can possibly get involved in. It's going to allow them to become more of the grant community. They can meet new people, they can meet new adults, they can create relationships, which is part of our Keeping It Red process, and it can help them possibly get interested in new things. I think it helps students get a little bit of ownership in the grant community and in our, in our building, and we have a lot of fun things to offer, so take advantage of it. I hope that May and Kyle gave you a good look at what it's like to be a Bulldog. Grant's an amazing place full of opportunities. We can't wait to see all the ways that you're going to take advantage of those as part of the Bulldog family. Welcome. It's great to be a Bulldog. We'll see you soon.